everyone is asking the same big question lately. Will we ever see an iPad Ultra? People want to know if Apple will finally give us a massive tablet. We are talking about a screen between 14 and 16 inches. This would be a giant change for the iPad lineup. It would not just be about the size, though. It would be about the power inside. Imagine an iPad with a Pro chip. We are talking about an M5 Pro or an M6 Pro. This would make it a true beast of a machine. But will Apple actually release it? They have tried to make one in the past. Today, we are going to look at all the leaks and rumors. We will see what Apple did before. We will also look at what they might do in the future. We need to know if the iPad Ultra is a real dream or just a myth. To understand the future, we must look at the past. The iPad first arrived back in 2009. That feels like a very long time ago. The journey of the iPad has changed so much since then. At first, there was only one model. Now, we have many different versions. We have the standard iPad for everyday use. We have the iPad Air for people who want a bit more. We have the iPad Mini for those who like a small screen. Finally, we have the iPad Pro series. The Pro series is the top of the line. Right now, it comes in two sizes. You can get an 11-inch version or a 13-inch version. These tablets are very powerful. They use the standard M chips. For example, the latest Pro models use the M5 chip. This chip is great, but it is not the most powerful chip Apple makes. There is still a lot of room for growth. Apple has actually planned to make a larger iPad before. Back in 2023, a famous reporter named Mark Gurman spoke about this. He said Apple was very close to releasing a 14-inch iPad. This could have been the first iPad Ultra. It would have had a much larger display. People were very excited about it. However, it never came out. Apple decided to wait. Since then, we have heard even more rumors. Some leaks suggest a 16-inch iPad is in development. But again, we have seen nothing on the store shelves. Why is Apple holding back? One big reason is the software. We have to talk about iPad OS. For a long time, the iPad just used a bigger version of the iPhone software. It was basically just iOS. Only in the last few years did Apple give it a new name. They called it iPad OS to show it was different. The real change started with multitasking. When Apple added multitasking, the iPad became more like a computer. This year, things got even better. We received iPad OS 26. This version brought a new window mode. Now, you can move apps around in Windows just like on a Mac. This is where a larger screen becomes very important. If you use an iPad mini, the screen is too small for Windows. Even on an 11-inch iPad, it feels a bit tight. You do not have much room to work. The 13-inch iPad Pro is better, but it still feels limited. If we had a 14-inch or 16-inch screen, multitasking would be amazing. You could have several apps open at once. You would have the space to actually see what you are doing. This is why the iPad Ultra makes so much sense now. The software is finally ready for a bigger canvas. But who is this giant iPad for? It is probably not for watching movies. Don't get me wrong, watching Netflix on a 16-inch screen would be great. But that is not why Apple would build it. They would market this to professionals. It would be for people who use the Apple Pencil every day. Think about digital artists and designers. They need as much space as possible. A 16-inch canvas would be a dream for them. They could draw and edit with incredible detail. It would also be great for people who use a magic keyboard. But this creates a strange problem. If you use a giant iPad with a keyboard, it starts to look like a laptop. At that point, why not just buy a 16-inch MacBook Pro? Or maybe a 15-inch MacBook Air? 
Apple has to find a way to make the iPad Ultra feel special. It cannot just be a MacBook without a permanent keyboard. It has to offer something unique that only a tablet can do. There is another interesting leak to consider. Earlier this year, some reports mentioned slimmer bezels. The bezels are the black borders around the screen. If Apple makes the bezels smaller, the screen gets bigger without making the device huge. When the M5 iPad Pro came out, the bezels stayed the same. This made some people think the leak was fake. But maybe it wasn't. Maybe those slim bezels were for a new prototype. Maybe they were for the iPad Ultra. A 16-inch screen with tiny bezels would look incredible. It would feel like you are just holding a piece of glass. This is the kind of design Apple loves to create. We also heard from an analyst named Ming-Chi Kua. He is very famous for knowing Apple's secrets. He suggested that Apple might be working on a foldable iPad. This would be another way to get a huge screen. You could have a giant display that folds in half to fit in your bag. However, this might not be necessary. People already carry 16-inch MacBooks everywhere. A 16-inch iPad would not be any harder to carry than a laptop. You don't really need to fold it. Plus, folding screens are very expensive and can break easily. A solid 16-inch iPad Ultra seems like a much safer bet for Apple. It would be more durable and easier to produce. If Apple does build this Ultra model, the internal hardware must be special. A standard M chip might not be enough for a Ultra device. It would likely need a Pro chip. If it launched soon, it would need the M5 Pro. This would give it more graphics power and better speed. It would also need better cooling. iPads are very thin, so they can get hot. A larger 16-inch body would give Apple more room to manage heat. They could use something called a vapor chamber. They might even be able to fit a tiny fan inside. This would let the Pro chip run at full speed for a long time. This is what professionals need for heavy work like video editing or 3D modeling. Right now, the chance of seeing an iPad Ultra feels like 50-50. Apple is doing a lot of market research. They know the iPad Pro sells well, but it is not their biggest hit. The cheapest iPad is actually the one most people buy. Apple has to be sure that enough people will spend a lot of money on a giant tablet. But with the updates to iPad OS 26, the timing is perfect. The software can finally handle the size. We might see more solid news in 2026. That could be the year Apple finally changes the iPad forever. Until then, we can only look at the clues they leave behind. The dream of a 16-inch iPad Ultra is closer than ever before. It is the missing piece in the Apple ecosystem. It bridges the gap between the tablet and the computer in a way no other device has done yet.